Hello there, people of the internet. Today we are here with the lead singer of the band Father Mackenzie, Tobias Grombacher, who is taking part in the 2011 Finnish National Final. Welcome, Tobias, and thank you for taking part in this interview. Thank you. Um, first of all, would you like to start by telling us a little bit about yourself and your band members? Yes, well, uh, I come from Finland originally, but uh, I uh, moved to Sweden about four years ago. And uh, I met all the, the rest of the band members there, where I studied music in Örebro. And uh, we, yeah, we started to start a band. And, yeah. Um, how did you all meet? Uh, we studied music in uh, at the same school, so we cool. we decided to try to uh, play together. And uh, yeah, that's how we started the band. And um, what are the names of the other members of your band? Uh, Emil Johansson plays bass, and uh, Simon Larsson plays drums, yep. Joachim Jusselin guitar. Cool, and, and are they from uh, Finland as well, or Sweden? No, uh, Emil and Simon are from uh, Sweden, and uh, Joachim yep. is from uh, uh, Åland, in a little island outside of I Finland. Know. Yeah, you know. Cool, excellent. And um, who are your musical influences? Uh, well, there are so many. It's always uh, difficult to mention just some. But uh, for instance, Bob Dylan yep. is a great influence, and um, I listened a lot to Coldplay when I was when I was younger. Cool. And, uh, yeah. Um, you qualified for Eurovision through an internet quarterfinal. How did you come to take part in the um, quarterfinal? Uh, we uh, yeah, as you said, we participated in the Web Joker, the little competition there, and uh, we were one of the three bands that uh, got to the semifinals, uh, and uh, we decided to participate in the Finnish Eurovision, as uh, well since two of our members are from Finland, and um, it's uh, it's a bit easier to uh, get into the competition in Finland than it is in Sweden. Because yep. it's uh, a little more based on celebrities in Sweden than it is on, on in Finland, so it's easier for new bands in Finland, I would say. And um, if you ever had the chance, would you consider entering Melody Festival in Sweden? Yeah, yeah absolutely. That would be nice. Cool. Absolutely. Um, well, in your own words, uh, what is your song "Good Enough" about? It's about uh, being good enough as you are. With your uh, partner, <laughs> so to cool. say. So, so a very sort of feel-good song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, cool. Well, uh, when you're not singing, what do you do with yourself? Uh, well, <laughs> there's actually not too much time, uh, except for music in my life. Um, well, I hang with friends when I'm when I'm free, and, and so that's a. Uh, I mostly play play or sing. <laughs> Cool. The right songs, of course. But, yeah. So, why the decision to enter Eurovision? Um, why the decision to attempt to go to Eurovision? Uh, uh, well, I guess we want to uh, be seen, get fans, get the uh, gigs, and so just, on. Just get the name out there. Yeah, exactly. It's a good, uh, good uh, place to, you know, to. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, you know. are, you, are you a Eurovision fan at all? Have you followed the contest much? Uh, yeah, a bit. Yes, I have. Um, no, actually, mostly the Swedish uh, competition. Do you um, have any favorite songs from Melody Festival or from Eurovision itself? Uh, I don't remember every every song that I've heard, but uh, from the last year, I, I thought. Um, I actually thought the the song that won in Sweden was quite good. Uh, yeah. And uh, yeah. also the, the you came second, Salem Alpha Key was uh, a great favorite of mine as well. Excellent. Yeah. Um, if you're unsuccessful in winning the ticket to Dusseldorf in Eurovision, um, what plans do you have for the for you and the band in 2011? I'm going to continue writing songs, <laughs> trying to make good songs and. Uh, just trying to get them out there. We're not giving up yet. <laughs> Excellent. Um, finally, uh, do you have a message to our readers and listeners? 
uh, world for us. <laughs> <laughs> Simple enough, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Well, um, on behalf of everyone at ESC Daily and our readers and listeners, I'd like to thank you again for participating in this interview and wish you all the best of the luck in your semi-final of Eurovisiot in January. Thank you very much.